she has got where she can, cannot carry on a conversation. She did not recognize me. She does not remember her children. She does not remember my name. We can have the chaplain from my hospice come in and she'll say, Carol, who's that over there? My wife of 40 years can look at me and not know who I am. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive disorder that causes brain cells to degenerate and die, destroying memory and other important mental functions. In Arkansas alone, there are 76,496 individuals living with this disease. My wife is 82. We've been married for 40 years, and uh, her diagnosis, she come down with the first time the doctor diagnosed us with Alzheimer's about 10 years ago. And she's in a stage now where she can, cannot carry on a conversation, and she is having trouble walking. She, they say shuffle, I think that's the words they use. And uh, she sleeps pretty good at night at home now that we've got some good medicine. And uh, she's not a bother. She, I mean, when you love someone, you take care of them. And that's why I've been trying to take care of the best of my ability. It's just, it's a thing, it's, it's a horrible disease because as you get older, you say, okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. We've got time, we've got the money. You can't do it. I mean, she can look at pictures and everything. We've been there, we've been to Yellowstone, we've been to Glacier, we've been to all these different parts. But she looks at them now and pictures, she does not recognize them. She doesn't know that. She doesn't know that we went to Walmart yesterday morning. This is one of the things, their memory is basically uh, maybe a minute or two. She plays with a baby doll like a two-year-old. And that's basically where the people, the experts, everything like your mother, dear one says, that's where their mind is. At that level, they have retracted to that level. And it's, it's a horrible thing to see a loved one go from a bouncing, wonderful woman that you enjoyed and you went places and did things with and now you can't. You've got to help her when she goes to the bathroom. You've got to help her. I don't have to feed her yet, but you know, I cook all her meals and she eats part of them. And it's just very disappointing. And it's a, it's just a thing that, well, the other day we had to go, I had to get some groceries too, so I went on that. Well, she'll sit down on a little bench there in Walmart. And then she, I tried to get her back in the vehicle. I could not get her, get her into the SUV. She grabbed hold of the bar and tried to pull herself up. She had no strength. Well, anyway, a lady that her husband, she just put her husband in a nursing home the week before. She was in the parking lot, she heard, and she came to help me. But that's just the things that, that the Alzheimer's does. Now, some people have a little bit better memory. My wife of 40 years can look at me and not know who I am. It would be, it would be a living, and I'll use the word, it would be a living hell. Because to try to take care of your loved one until the point gets it, I can't take care of anymore, and then I know that she has to go somewhere that people are trying to take care of her. It is basically, it's a thing, and I use the word loosely, but you sometimes, I'd rather see that patient dead than going through. We don't know what they're going through, but we know what their loved ones are going through. And it's just, it's, it's a, to me, I'm thinking cancer, I've taken a different thing like that. There's a chance you can cure these people or you can make them better, or you can do this, and they can sit there and talk to you. My wife, Carol, has got a sister that is eight years younger than she is. She's got MS. She had a pin put in her leg the other few months ago. It's just, she's no more Nika. But her husband can talk to her. He can get her in a wheelchair. He's got a special van, and they can travel. They can do all I can't do that. Within the darkness, there is a light, a hope. It's The Caring Place. The Caring Place is miraculous. Caring Place is a blessing. Caring Place is wonderful. Caring Place is amazing. Caring Place is life-changing. The Caring Place is a place for people with Alzheimer's, dementia, to be able to go and get away 
where their caregivers can have a break. It's a respite program for basically Alzheimer's, but we also do any kind of mental deficit that may be occurring within somebody, and we provide just daytime respite for family members and caregivers. It does a lot of good for a lot of families. It's very needed in our community. Luckily, the nurse at the Dr. Rhoda's office suggested a caring place, excuse me, and I had no idea what that was. And I circled around a few times, and one day I just happened to be driving by. I said, I'm going to check that out. And I said, that looks real good. And then I brought it the next day. And Carol seemed to enjoy it, which few can see enjoyment when they're talking with a patient of that type. And I take her there. Anytime I need to say to go to Walmart or I need to do this, I need some things that she can't do, I'll take her down to Caring Place. The Caring Place is important because it's the only place in Garland County and only two in the whole state that's kind of like an adult daycare. Alzheimer's is growing and it's not going anywhere and there's really not enough resources not only in our community but the entire state for families to reach out to and it's incredibly expensive to care for someone with uh, in your home. It's where you can drop off a loved one and they'll be entertained and that way the family members can have breaks and relax a little bit because they're 100% come taking care of them. Caring Place benefits families by just that. It gives, them a, it gives them a break. They're taking care of their loved one 24 hours a day, seven days a week with no breaks. And it gives them a chance to get out and uh, just do simple things like grocery shopping. Because if you've never dealt with an Alzheimer's patient, they're, they can be like taking care of a toddler at times. They're very challenging. They don't know where they're at sometimes and they get aggressive. It's amazing actually to see them love each other and care for each other and the impact that we have on the families is profound. I mean, it's miraculous to some families that find us and realize that there are resources. I can bring my wife through that door and as soon as I bring her in there, there's one of these ladies comes, puts your arms around and says, come on, Carol. And like I said, it's just, it's just a place that it's a, it gives me a, a help that I can go do some of the things that I can't do with her. The staff at the Caring Place is wonderful. Um, there's men, there's women, there's young people, um, there's older people that volunteer to give them something to do and they all take the time to get to know each one of the people there, to find out what works for them, what helps them, what, what things they like to do. So they take the time to learn that and then they do that with that patient. My, uh, my grandmother, she had um, uh, not Alzheimer's but she had similar deficits mentally and she was part of the program before she passed away and it really brought a lot of joy to her and she got a lot of socialization that she was lacking from being homebound you know so that's a big thing we see is the socialization it's because they're, they're home alone a lot of times so it's good to be around other people that are like them and not be judged you know for their deficits. I see the Caring Place uh, really helping the participants a lot because it entertains them. It gives, it interacts with their minds and tries to keep them sharp. It does things that it works with their muscles, like doing simple things like drumming. You know, using a drum, you don't think anything about it, but that's working muscles that they're ordinarily not doing. They have multiple activities for them, music, they get them to dance, they get to play games, visit with other people. We do lots of games. We do like a volleyball game where we use balloons instead of real volleyballs. And then um, we have art programs from time to time. And lots of sports-minded games like we do ladder ball and uh, just things like that that are real fun. But I know when I've been in there and I've seen 30 or 40 people sitting around there. When the little couple, one or two might be dancing, one or two they might kick the ball around. They do little things that these people with the mental capacity that they have, they can do and they can, well you want to say enjoy, I don't know. Nobody else knows what they enjoy. They just do and they, they keep them occupied. I mean, instead of sitting there as a dunce in a chair, you might say. Uh, my patient's mental health at the Caring Place has really improved a lot because sometimes it's just the husband and wife at home and the wife is the one maybe with dementia and when they get to go there, they get to interact with other people. They get to see other people that's experiencing some of the same problems they are, and also dealing with people that just want to be there to talk to them, somebody different. 
Caring Place is different from a nursing home in a lot of ways because it's not 24 hour care. So they get to uh, just be somewhere during the daytime, day hours, and they still get to go home at night and sleep in their own bed with their own family. So it's more of a, an outing. It's a field trip. These people are trained and I have no worries. I have no feelings that this, something's gonna happen to her. Because and like, I've probably taken her 10 or 12 times. I can't even say, no, I'm not taking her. And I have no qualms. I can get in my car, I can go to Lowe's, I can go to anywhere I wanna go and do whatever I've got to do and without any worry. And the caring place, is it's a place that I know that she is safe and she is well taken care of while I'm away from her. And that's basically what it is. It's just it's just a caring place.